the honorable member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Lands and Forestry. Carmen Williams is a carpenter and a former forest technician in Shelburne County. He's not against forestry, but he has joined more than a thousand people who have signed a letter to the minister calling for a moratorium on clear cuts in the county until the community is consulted. The group would like to meet with the minister. Mr. Speaker, the Leahy report emphasized the need to improve the public consultation process for harvest plans. The minister has started an internal working group on that topic, but has taken no interim steps to engage communities. One step would be to meet with concerned communities. Can the minister commit to meeting with community members in Shelburne County before any more harvests occur? The Honourable Minister of Lands and Forestry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. Uh, I'm aware of that uh, specific stand. There uh, continues to be a process in place for engagement with the community. They have uh, 40 days to submit their views, uh, and we, make, uh, we take those comments very seriously, and our IRM team uh, looks at that, which includes biologists, which includes foresters. Uh, we do our best to make the best uh, treatments. We also are making a significant process on the, the Leahy report, updating our forest management guide. Uh, we will have a workshop and stakeholder engagement in the coming months. We have our experts, uh, external experts that we've uh, reached out to that should be joining our internal teams uh, shortly. So we are making progress and I continue to, to look forward as we uh, make change to move towards ecological forestry in the province. Thank the you. Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, the Leahy report emphasizes, and I quote, the critical need for the embrace of openness, transparency, collaboration and accountability by the department. But public consultation at this point has not gotten better. The one mechanism the public has for viewing harvest plans is through the online harvest viewer. But recently changes were made in what some feel is a crude public relations spin. The term clear cut has been removed and replaced by less transparent technical terms. And past harvests are no longer visible on the map, which makes it more difficult to see the overall number of harvests being approved in a given area. Does the minister think that these changes qualify as embracing openness, transparency, collaboration, and accountability like the Leahy report called for? The Honourable Minister of Lands and Forestry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we continue to take feedback in this interim period before the uh, recommendations are fully implemented. There were some changes based on feedback. Uh, around upload time in terms of the past maps. Those have actually since been added back to the map, so that's, that statement's not entirely accurate. Uh, and we actually put more uh, treatment spe specificity out there so that there is no um, debate about what the actual prescription or treatment is on the ground. Uh, we've also made extra changes uh, in terms of our retention quality in the, uh, in the forest and also having setbacks from uh, different areas. And if you'll see, there has been changes of treatments uh, based on the reviews that continue to take place based on the public comments. We are making progress and I continue to uh, look forward to seeing how we can improve the way that we improve our transparency as we have been already. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.